there are certain people that we are found with there are certain people that we associate with that don't really care about about our lives and the badness is that we 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 give them so much room so much room in our lives such that um, most of our decisions are influenced by them we try by all means to make them happy we try by all means to like please them we try by all means to listen to them but in actual sense they don't really care about about us they don't really care about what we are going through so when things ain't working right they would not offer much of a solution but when things are going right they would advise us or not to buy on the kind of clothes to put on but when things are actually bad when we need them they're nowhere to be found so they are only there when things are right with us but when things are wrong they are nowhere to be seen Your life is your choice. You don't have to wait upon anyone to change it. And you don't really have to listen to anyone. Why? It's your life. So most of the people that we really have around us don't really care. They don't really care about us. They would see us doing bad things, but they'll just be quiet about it. They would see us doing things that ain't right and they'll just be quiet and they'll not advise us. They'll not tell us this is wrong for your life. They'll not say that stop this, this will ruin your life. We'll be spending money but they'll not advise us to plan our lives wisely. They would even encourage us to buy more things, to 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 go to more parties, to go to 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 to, to more nightclubs, but they would not really advise us. They would not. You don't really have to surround yourself with people that don't view you. You don't really have to surround yourself with people that don't add value to your life. Life is way too short to be surrounded by the wrong people. Some are just good. Some are just good, not until they meet someone. Some were just okay, not until they met someone. The day that they found someone, that is when their life got messed up. Whose voice are you listening to? Whose advice are you really listening to? Whose, uh, whose voice influences your your decisions whose voice do you trust because your future is decided by the voice you trust who's advising you in your life who is giving you major decision in your life who is helping you in your life who is really pushing you to go higher who is really pushing you to be someone better in your life who are you listening to this one is my friend what advice is he giving you this one is my buddy what advice is he giving you this one is my childhood friend what advice is she giving you how has your life changed since you've been found with her how has your life changed You've been found with her for long, but how has your life changed? So if there's no change in your life, that means they don't really make sense. Surround yourself with people who can build you. Financially, socially, spiritually, mentally. Surround yourself with people that can actually build you. We keep on complaining. Life is not changing. We keep on complaining. Things ain't changing. But are you changing your environment? 
Are you changing your environment? So you have to change yourself. Then you can change the environment. So when you change, that means certain people won't feel comfortable being around you. So the reason why certain people are around you always is because you ain't changing. Because when you are changing, certain people exit your life automatically. Because why? Your level will be way too high for them. So don't ever lower your standards for anyone. Don't ever lower your standards for anyone. If they need to be with you, they would have to level up. Because when you lower yourself and they mess up, you start complaining that I did this for this one, I did this for that one, but they treated me badly. Why? You lowered your standards. So if they want to get to you, let them get up to you. Don't go down to them. If they care enough, they would come up to you. They would definitely come up to you. Stop forcing things. If they aren't reaching out, stop reaching out to them. Why are you forcing things? Why are you forcing them to be in your life? Why are you forcing them to care about you? Why are you forcing them to listen to what you have to say? Why are you forcing them to pay close attention to what is happening in your life? If they cared enough, you'd not have to remind them to call you. If they cared enough, you'd not have to remind them to visit you. If they cared enough, you'd not have to remind them that you need something. If they cared enough, they would actually see that you need something. They would see or they would know that they have to call you. They would have to check up on you. But they ain't doing that. And you are complaining. Stop complaining and work on your life. You just have got one life. You don't have to surround yourself with negative people. You don't have to surround yourself with people that don't add value to your life. You don't have to surround yourself with people who, who only want what is in your hands. When you have nothing, they are nowhere to be seen. You don't have to surround yourself with people who are all negative about life. They have got a negative attitude towards life you don't really need such people in your life you need people that can build you whose voice are you listening to today whose voice are you listening to today whose voice do you trust your future is decided by the voice you trust your future is decided by the voice you trust This one is my friend. This one is my advisor. Check out their life. How is their life? If they are your advisor, how is their life? You keep on complaining that that uh, my life is not going anywhere. But you keep on associating with the wrong people. Bad company corrupts good morals. That's the Bible. Bad company corrupts good morals. That means if you surround yourself with the wrong people, that means good things can really happen to you. So when bad people leave your life, good things start happening. When bad people leave your life, good things start happening. And bad people really leave your life automatically. It's kind of rare. You need to force them out of your life. You don't need bad people around you. You need good people around you. Stop complaining when you are letting them do what they are doing to you. Stop complaining when you are letting them do what they are doing to you. So things cannot change if you're just quiet or silent things will only change if you speak up if you level up if you don't like something speak up if you don't like the way you're being treated speak up 
if you don't like something that someone is doing, speak up. Because once you allow something, it grows. And in the end, you start complaining that things are worse. Why? You let them grow. But initially, you could have stopped them at their initial stages. Stop complaining about about what you are allowing in your life. Stop complaining about what you are permitting in your life. Stop complaining. You are allowing that to happen in your life. If you ain't got money, you are allowing that. If someone is beating you up badly, you are allowing that. If someone is treating you badly, you are allowing that. So don't lower yourself. Let someone level up. Let them get up to you. You don't have to lower yourself just to please someone. No, you don't. You don't have to lower yourself. So your life can change if you decide to do something about it. But if you ain't doing nothing about it, that means your life won't change. This has been Dr. Purpose. So may God bless you. And shalom.